Hello students, Mrs. Van Sickle here with a brief tutorial on how to look at vocabulary acquisition and comprehension through the technique of verbology. If you are unfamiliar with this, please refer to the other video in the notes below, in the description below, on the rationale as to why ver verbology is so good at teaching students how to increase their vocabulary acquisition. So let's take a look at a word that we've heard a lot about, but maybe don't quite understand what it means. Asynchronous. Contrary to popular belief, asynchronous does not mean a day off. So step number one, write the word down. Step number two, is to take a look at the word and divide it up into its natural subparts. Let's start with syllables. Since we don't know a lot about Greek and Latin subparts or prefixes or suffixes or root base or root words, let's start with syllables. A, sin, cron, us. So I'm gonna make some divisions here. A, sin, cron, us four syllables, four sections, three divisions. Now, if we go to our verbology resource, which is linked in the, the, the verbology word of the day slide, we are going to start with prefixes first, which is the first tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Don't be intimidated by all of the subparts within this spreadsheet. The goal is not for you to memorize all of these subparts. The goal is to be familiar, become familiar with how words can be combined to create more sophisticated words, or they can be taken apart to understand the meanings of words. So you'll see that this Verbology resource is broken down into three tabs, prefixes, base and root words, and suffixes. Well, let's start at the beginning of the word with prefixes. So click on prefixes. So because A is at the beginning of the alphabet, I look to the top, lo and behold, there's the letter A prefix. Now it's important to note that suffixes cannot begin at the beginning of a word and prefixes cannot be end a word. So keeping that in mind, starting with prefixes. The subpart letter A means not or, it means without, that's an abbreviation for without, or away or from. We're off and running. Our next subpart, Let's assume it's also a prefix because it is quite possible for a word to have more than one prefix at the beginning. So again, we do our control F and we type in the next subpart, which is SYN. Sure enough, we see a subpart. Again, it's a prefix. It means together. Our next subpart is cron. Since we're at prefixes, let's just give it another shot. Nothing. So that doesn't mean that the subpart doesn't exist. It just means it's not a prefix. Let's move on to base and root words and do a search for cron. Lo and behold, we see cron or chrono means time. We're getting a basis for understanding the word right now. And the last part of the word O-U-S. Now, just because it's at the end of the word doesn't necessarily mean it's a suffix. So let's stick with bases and roots and type in O-U-S, one of five possibilities. But we wanna make sure that we're looking under this first column here. 
So we see that OUS is in a meaning or definition column. It does not pop up at all in the base column. So let's go to suffixes and do a search for OUS. I see C I O U S. I see E O U S. I see I O U S. O U S. Having the characteristic of. So we are literally looking up the definition of the subparts. And once we have all of these subparts literally defined, we are going to make sense of it and put it into our own logical definition. So it makes sense to us. One more thing about suffixes you should know. Depending on how the word ends will indicate the word's part of speech, whether it's a noun, an adjective, an adverb, a verb. The ending of the word will always indicate what part of speech it is. So if we look at OUS here, we see the part of speech is an adjective. So it's describing a noun. We're just going to put that right here for now. POS. POS equals ADJ. We'll come back to that at a later point in time. Now for the fun part. Let's take a look at all of these subparts and see if we can't come up with a logical definition for this word. A, not without away from. So I'm, take, I'm understanding that A probably means the opposite of. Sin, together. So the opposite of together. Time and having the characteristics of. So I'm looking at this word and I'm thinking, okay, it has to do something with, it's describing a noun that has something to do with the characteristics of not spending time together. So if we look at asynchronous learning, it literally means you are learning, but you are not spending time together with your teacher or with your class, but you're still learning. It's just you're learning on your own time. So that's Verbology 101 in a nutshell. We'll be using these other subparts to identify more sophisticated words and to perhaps create our own words down the road.